Hi folks, welcome to my Vit Retro Journal. Um, so I have, um, this is my ZX81 or Timex and Clay 1000. This is actually a spare one that I have. And you can tell, um, let me zoom in on this for a second. So you can tell here that um, I, usually this cable is, is much longer than that. And, and I think the final time I cut it, it was, you know, this long and then, I realized after having sort of put this aside and actually got this as a replacement, uh, thinking that I would have to get a replacement um, uh, membrane, uh, I looked at this again recently and I said, oh, if I just cut off this top row right here. Problem is there were cuts below this, so then I had to cut this off and I realized there was actually cut at this level. So I cut all this stuff off. And so now I'm just left with this. And obviously that's not enough to put in here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to um, take um, take the, um, uh, let me unfocus again. I'm going to take these two things here off. And then I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to attach them to here and then glue them on here so that they don't move. And then I'm going to take a ribbon cable and I'm going to attach that. Um, and I haven't figured out yet quite how I want to attach this, but I think what I want to do is um, I could either saw it directly on here um, and then on both sides. The other thing is I, ha I have a box of these, and if I look at the right ones, I think that one's five. Uh, yeah. So I could solder something on here. And then what I could do is I could uh, tin the edge of these and then actually poke them in, just like the QL does for its micro drives, um, and so that I could have basically a permanent cable that I could then also detach. Uh, unfortunately, these are a little too short. I was hoping actually what I wanted to do, and I, and I might still try to do that. I wanted to uh, mount them this way, sideways, so you can't, I don't know if you can see that or not sideways like this, but I'm going to have to bend these. So I'm going to try to bend these, uh, solder them on like this so that the cable goes in sideways because it'll be more room. And so then it'll just go and snake like that. Um, that's the idea. Um, and uh, before I can do that, however, what I want to do is actually test out to see if this chip works or not. So let me do that first and get this out of the way. Um, let me again make sure that I'm going to unplug this, unplug that, that's a good one, and let me make sure I actually have, am I still on camera? I'm not, so, so zoomed in a little bit, uh, what I want to do is actually see if this can work or not, so I want to plug this in, and then plug this in, uh, let's put this on the other side. See what this gives us. Nothing. Oh. Gives us a gray screen, but no cursor. So I don't think this has a back porch signal, so I don't think this is going to be a bright white screen. So one of the other things I want to do once I get the keyboard back to working is do the um, composite mod and perhaps also the internal memory upgrade mod and perhaps even the speed up mods. So there's a bunch of mods you can do. So this might, might be my demo. Uh, yeah, so so I believe this is the processor that I got off of the um, a broken uh, Spectrum. And so I do have the other processor. I think this was the original processor that I had. So what I need to do is take this processor out. Uh, let me do that. I'm going to be kind of careful with that. And usually what I do is once I get some room, I take a tongue depressor that are made out of, uh, there we go. That way you don't scratch anything up. All right, so that's the bad chip. And then I believe it goes on, it goes on like that. And so that is gonna go on like that. And I'm just going to, uh, Perfect. All right, back on, bad chip. 
Let's see if this can power it up and give us the cursor. I think that was the original uh, Z80 CPU. Ah, and there we are. So we got the cursor. All right, again, not a great picture because it only has the backboard signal, so it's not going to give you a beautiful, bright white picture. But it does work. Um, it's funny, I think this one actually says Z80 on it. This one does not. This processor is uh, has a different uh, um, designation, but is it, it was the one that came with the Tommy Sinclair 1000. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do this off camera. So I'm going to unsolder these connectors and then um, connect them permanently on here uh, and uh, then take this cable and uh, see if I can, um, uh, using um, a pair of connectors like these, again, I'm going to try to bend, see if I can bend these at a right angle so I can have them like that. So that's what I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to come back uh, and show you what I have once I'm complete with that. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's see what... Uh, the different ways I can give this a try, all right? So I'll be back once I've done the soldering. Just back briefly, and uh, I actually was able to successfully bend those at right angles. So that actually went pretty well. So that's going to allow me to put those connectors on that at right angles. I think that's going to work better uh, with my idea, so... Now let's go on to actually um, solder them. Phase one is complete. You can see I took them out. Uh, that actually worked pretty well. Um, I used uh, my uh, solder sucker. Um, and yeah, these came out pretty easily. So I um, still have to clean up the board a little bit, as you can see. But um, yeah, I think these, these older boards are so much easier to work on than some of the newer boards. All right, next I'm going to uh, solder in the new sockets. I've soldered in uh, the ends, so um, you can see this actually went pretty well. Um, and uh, I ended up actually, so as I originally had planned to use these angled brackets, uh, but it turns out that this ribbon cable is so narrow, it was going to be really hard to align them up, so I just soldered them in uh, uh, directly, and so that should do the trick. So, um, and then I have a uh, shrink wrap here and here so these splits don't end up becoming larger because uh, it's pretty tight here. But yeah, this is a, a nice, and you can see uh, on the back, nice, cleaned it up. And it's reversible, of course. I can just uh, take this stuff out and put it back if I want. So it's not, uh, it's not an undoable uh, um, fix. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to hook it to that and I need to glue these things using, uh, this is actually pretty good glue, uh, Loctite. I'm going to glue them on. It's actually a little better than hot glue. I think it's going to become too much of a mess. So I'm just going to put glue on the backs of these strips here and here and um, uh, glue that onto that. Let me show you. I'm going to zoom in. Um, so these are going to be put uh, connected here and then glued down. Um, so that they don't move and that way I can literally open and close this up and there'll have to be a bend here but that'll work out um, and so this will be able to open this will no longer uh, have any uh, stress on it because these will be glued down and not move and uh, then I should have a working um, keyboard uh, with this ribbon cable so let me do that and I'll come back once I've done that all right, it is done. So it's still gluing a little bit, but it's glued in. Uh, so basically, these won't move. And uh, now this is folded. And so the way this is going to go is it's going to sit on here uh, like this. Um, something's causing it. Yeah, it's going to sit on here uh, like, like that. And then uh, I'd have to screw this down. Uh, and then the put the lid on. All 
right, so that's on there. All right, so again, I haven't, this hasn't been screwed all the way in yet, but uh, um, but let's give it a try. So I'm going to plug in the, and uh, yeah, this is definitely, uh, let me see. Here you can see the uh, screen. And let me plug it in. There it is. And so now let's see if all the keys work. We have print one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Yep. Yeah. Try to enter. Uh, shift, yeah, deletes. Uh, I think I'm going to delete the whole thing. But um, I have, yeah, I've got a computer again. Um, and uh, it's it's pretty permanent. So again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it off. So the idea here is that, um, again, it actually kind of works nicely. I believe uh, when I open this up from the this way, I generally uh, I think that's the way it opens up. Um, I think the board itself is is connected in part to uh, the. Oh, let me see. Uh, I forget now. So there, there is. Um, I know there's a few screws that. Uh, right, the board itself connects to. Uh, I believe it connects to. Um, there is a screw right here, and there is a screw down here, and so the board sits that way. So that will be fine. And then when you take the board out, the way you're going to do that is, it's basically going to just fold up, roll up like that. And then you have, again, these aren't going to move because they're glued in. And uh, you can then take the board out like that if you need to do any work on it. Um, certainly, it can expand and have a lot of room to move um, without having to take, uh, again, unfortunately, I couldn't make these ones that could plug in. But uh, certainly, uh, this is no longer going to have Actually, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, this is not really going to have stress on it, uh, especially with these things glued down. Um, and so uh, even though you can get replacement boards, uh, replacement membranes, um, it's nice to have the original one. And the reason why is because um, they are slightly different. And so here we go. And so now let me actually just piece this back completely together. Since I can do that, I have the screws right here. And uh, again, oh yeah, so I've got, uh, which ones are which? So I know two short ones are the, uh, the motherboard. I'm worried about the long ones, but I think one of them is gonna go right here. I haven't had this together in a long time because it wasn't, there we go. And then I think the other one literally goes in, uh, there's one, two, and there's two on the bottom, there's three. Yeah, I think the other one goes in right here. And again, I always use the technique of backing it out first. Um, of course, I'm always worried about. There we go. Nice and easy. So now it's actually pretty secure. Um, it's not going to um, move around. Um, everything else is on there. So I don't actually have to put the rear. I believe. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know why I have different screws. Um, 
I would imagine the three black ones are here, and then the, I'll have to check on my other one to figure out. I mean, are they all kind of the same? Yeah, they're all the same length, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm not going to put that together for now. Um, but yeah, so uh, what I want to do next on this is... Um, uh, at the memory expansion, do the uh, I have to do the um, the video mod because, as you can see, um, it just is not very bright. It may appear bright on the camera, but if I compare the two, you'll you'll see right away that um, again, this is, has all the characters in there. Yep. Um, let's do a, a quick program. Ten print. Uh, hello. No, why is it? Oh, I don't have any legs on there. That's why. Oh, uh, let's do it. Oops. Space with a. Oh, uh, where's our semicolon? It's right there. Oops. There it is, 20. Go to 10. Yeah, this is. Run. And there it is. But uh, just to compare the, uh, the two um, Timex Sinclair 1000s, you will see that this one the one that has the original membrane without the mod if i switch these you can see this is much brighter it's a much brighter screen and so um yeah that one doesn't have the back porch signal uh, so this one uh, has the membrane, original membrane. I don't think it, I don't know if I've even opened this up yet. I mean, it may die one day. But again, the nice thing about keeping the membrane and not doing replacements because you have to peel up this whole thing. And the new ones are slightly different. I mean, they're they're mostly recreations, but you know, it's nice to keep the original ones around. So yeah, I've got myself now two Time Extender One Thousands. This one's a little rougher. But uh, I, I do have the legs for it. Um, but uh, as I said, uh, this is going to be my, my my base original one. This one I'm going to this one. This one I'm going to do the um, composite mod, uh, internal RAM upgrade, and there's also a way to speed this up. So yeah, this will be my tinkerer. I, I've had this apart forever, uh, and just decided recently that I would do the keyboard um, fix so that I. Can make use this again, um, and and not just uh, at home, but I can take it with me uh, to where wherever I am, school and whatnot. If I want to tinker there with it, and then keep this one at home. All right, so um, I think that's where I'm going to end today. Uh, um, thanks for uh, joining me, and I'll see you next time.